look at this thing right here. It's an oldie, but goldie. 2004 Monaco Windsor. Today we're gonna to talk about this motorhome. My name is Sachin Shaw with RV Max US in Greenville, South Carolina. My wife and I just went and got this from Florida. It's a North Carolina one owner Monaco Windsor model 40 DST. That's Delta Sierra Tango. It's a bath and a half. Let me repeat, if you didn't catch it, it's a bath and a half. In 2004, it was a new thing. It's three slide outs. Look at the full body paint. Let's start in the front. You see the mirrors are not even oxidized. I mean, you know, it's got a little edge, but you know some of those old ones, they, this chrome thing is peeling off. None of that. Really nice, okay? We took the 3M film off. We had this light buffed out. Uh, push up a button, hydraulic, slide out, slides out. I'm gonna show you a 7,500 watts generator. Panoramic windshield. This light came out okay too. Okay, it's closed right now, but we can open the slide. 1,500 hours on generator about 76,000 miles. The paint don't even have any checking. It's beautiful coach. The couple owned it, they own the uh, campground, so they knew how to take care of it. Over here, we have a LP tank and a 150 gallon diesel tank that goes across the uh, coach. And the tank for LP also goes across the coach. You know, a few little scratch or something you know flaws but overall it's in beautiful shape just a gorgeous over here we have a water tank excess if you wanted to put gravity fill you can fill the water up from here or there you also have a fill up from wet bay and, and look at this listen to the door shut that is a quality back in 2004 i hate to say that some of the new manufacturers will not compete with the quality that this motorhome has. So we got a slide out tray on the boat side. I'll show you from the other side, it slides out here and on the other side. There we go, all the way in. Another deep storage goes throughout. I don't have lights on, but we could have a lights on. Compartment lights. This is your 50 amp power cord. It comes out with electric and goes back electrically, okay? Also back in there, we have a inverter and a manifold, you know, water manifold. So if you get a water leak, let's see in a back bathroom, you can turn that back bathroom off. You can still use the front toilet. So, you know, that's a water manifold. You don't see that in some of the cheaper motorhome. This is a nice coach. There we go. Here's your wet bay, typical wet bay. You got your fresh water fill from here. Put a little towel here. Uh, outside shower cable hookup all that stuff it also has a sewer flush you see nice dock lights i love those dock lights they're kind of recessed inside michelin tires no worries i see 1021 wow they're pretty much new tires um it says 1021 so 10th week of 21 so these are brand new michelin tires all the way around wow that's about yeah, about five thousand dollars side mount radiator uh look at the side body no d lamb like i said the black part or dark part no checking maybe if you look at it really with a magnifying glass you see a little checking but paint is a beautiful shape two slides on this uh driver side one on our passenger side got a little scrub here it could be buffed out not a big deal i'm, I'm, I'm i specialize in pointing out bad stuff you know this is a 2004 what is it about 17 years old yep uh, back here, let me show you, ISL 400, that's a great engine. Back in 04, 05, man, they didn't have any of the pre-def stuff. This is a good as a gold. If I had to, my wife said, we like this coach, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I'd go camp in this ISL 400 Cummins, side radiator, rear access to the uh, engine, no rust. I mean, you know, this thing is kept in North Carolina and Florida. In Florida, not the, not the you know, on the coast, it was a Silver silver Lake or something? Uh, Tours Tampa on the west coast of Florida. All right, little boo-boo back here. Check this out. I still got up on top. I'm 170 pounds. I can still get up. So if you wait a little more, you may not want to use this. Ladder's been damaged a little bit, okay? Free of charge. You want a new one? Spend about 500 bucks, have a new one. And I'm giving a big estimate. It may not be that bad. Over here, we have our disconnect switches. 
a coach disconnect. We're changing a new switch here. It was uh, kind of messed up loose, so we're putting a new one. New batteries, uh, I think it's locked. We have a four, six volt batteries. They're like uh, just two months old and top were about three months old. All new batteries. Elco aluminum wheels. Can't get it where the Michelin tires are brand new. That's what I saw, Tw uh, 10 of 21, another one. And that's why, uh, and these are big one. Let's see, what are they, 295? Yep, 295, 80, 22 and a half. Those are big, big, big tires. Uh, take a look at here. No D-lamb, straight body. Some of the older Monaco, I've seen them around the bedroom, windows and stuff, they have a little D-lamb. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes weather does it, not just all water leak. Straight body here. 10 gallon water here, a little storage here. And uh, let's see, talking about a few more flaws I can find. You see right here, it's been scrubbed. It could buff out. The scrub goes here a little bit, okay? That's a 10 gallon water heater, runs on uh, electric or LP. See right here, a little damage, but you don't see that once you shut it, it's on the bottom. That little scrub right there. Uh, this is the uh, pass-through storage. So let me open that up, show you how that works. It's really nice. It's got a little handle to pull it once you unlock it. Oh, you gotta unlock it to push it back in. There you go, it locked in place. I call that a back saver. Some of the heavy stuff. So this is a living room slide. You got an opposite of another slide on living room. This is where your LP tank was coming out across and a fuel tank, 150 gallon. You got a dual fill from here or on the other side. Electric awning, awning here, two awnings on a slide out on the living room sofa or what is, that sofa is on this side. And then you got one on a bedroom. So uh, this completes our outside video. Let's go inside. Here we're inside this Windsor. Look at this, beautiful, isn't it? We put a hardwood floors here, two slide uppers and gives you plenty of room. Hey, and those folks wanna use this motorhome to work. Hey, you can move this thing out of the way. We got a little drawer here, a little, little cabinets here. And you can sit down here and work. Got a little uh, power station that comes from here. Uh, over here and this is a nice recliner so now I got it on a slide out right now but you know you get the picture I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> kind of stuck in here but we can pull it out when you're camping it's a beautiful recliner we have all the books and records with this we'll show you you know put it out by the kitchen beautiful cherry wood interior look at this even a little metal insert in the middle Monaco did fabulous job. Uh, just beautiful motorhome. This one has extension. It just comes out like that and you can add a couple of chairs and a four person can sit down and eat. They have a day and night shades are in excellent shape. This couple did not have any kids. It belongs to a friend of mine's uh, godparents or adopted parents. They didn't have no kids. So it's adult owned. By the way, this sofa right here opens up in a bed but look at this, day and night show. Hey, they metal insert in here too. Uh, beautiful woodwork. So this thing is a magic sofa. So it'll open up and jackknife. There should be drawer in here. Let's see what we got in here. Oh man, there's some more, more paperwork or camping trips. Hey, all this stuff goes with it. Uh, they actually own the campground. The couple we bought it from, they own the camping ground, campground. Let's see, these are, yeah, a little. Can you turn those lights on about the couch? They are on, they are, they are on, on a dimmer. Kitchen consists of nice Korean countertop, nice backsplash, little mirror. We got a nice Amana uh, gas stove. Over here, we have a nice ceramic big sink. With a nice insert. See if I can get it back. A little tricky. All right, pull out spray, a little water filter, lots of lots of 
storage, storage, storage everywhere. Oh, we got a nice little island comes out. How about that? Wow, a little hidden island. That's I like any extra cutting space or counter space you can get. Isn't that nice? You can put all your canned goods in here, push it in, and guess what? You got a little slide, sliding lock. So while you're traveling, it won't slide out. Here's another little spice rack or more canned goods. Oh, these are adjustable shelves, so you can put some cereals, all that. More storage here. That's a convection microwave oven, both. And it works, we used it. So come in the center, we have a four door refrigerator. You know, it's got an ice maker on top. It works fine. Over here, we have a thermostat that runs two roof air conditioners with a heat pump. And I love this, it's called Cool Mate, or whatever, I think. Cool Mater or whatever, cool. It's a huge attic fan, only, uh, Monaco did that. It's really nice. So on a nice spring or fall, you can just turn that attic fan on and you don't need to run air conditioning. Just really nice feature. So here's a half bath. Check it out. Beautiful mm -hmm. half bath. That's that right there, the little switch. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, I got a fantastic fan up. Nice little counter space. Madison cabinet. Some more. It's an electric flush toilet. The ceramic tiling area goes in there. And I don't see any cracks or anything like that. It's a really, really good shape uh, tile. Is it a one crack? Nope. Yeah, hair crack. She pointed it out. Hard to see. Good job, boo, boo So over here, we got another. You know, we used to have a 2003 Holiday Rambler Endeavor. This this kind of. Remember, we used to put our stub in this thing. Oh, there's another light. It was turn, turned off. Okay, let me show you guys privacy door coming in the bedroom. Is that a mirror behind the back? No mirror. Okay, solid door, not a hollow door. Monaco did a fabulous job in that woodwork. I'll be honest with you, some of these older Monaco are better than a newer Fleetwood and all. So back in the bedroom, we have a queen-size bed, okay. Uh, got nightstand on both sides. You got a nice dresser counter space here, a vanity. And we got like, oh my God, like six uh, drawers there, a deep closet here, and that probably be a little laundry hamper or whatever you call it. We got an old boob tube in the front. We have a LCD TV. These are your uh, 120 breaker panel and 12 volt fuse located right here. A lot easier. Some of the coaches, they put them under the bed. Talking about under the bed. Let's see what's under the bed. Wow. Hey, extra bedding and two extra chairs. How about that? So, in the struts are staying up on their own. I like that. It's a good sign of a one owner, good motorhome. I tell people sometimes you could get away putting a little bigger mattress, but I don't know. We just got probably two inches here, maybe two inches there. You could put a lumpic size queen bed, may ex extra add six inches, but it may be. We got nice. Uh, what do you call it? nightstand on both sides? And the lights dim, right? Uh, yep. Lights over here. Yep. And the reading lights back there. You also have a generator off and on there, and you got a both windows on the side. Nice little headboard back here with that metal piece in the middle. I really like that. Another pocket door for your master bath. So if you'd like to get a privacy and. And this uh, door has a mirror on the other side. Oh, oh, on that side. On my side, yep. I'll lock it up. But come on back here. We got a master bath. Consists of another sink. Let's see. Vanity light. Boom, there we go. Medicine cabinet. So this is a 40 DST. Delta Sierra Tango. Very rare. You don't see a lot of bath and a half. Washer dryer combo back here. And then you have a big storage up in top. Well, I wouldn't call it big, but it's a good little storage. A couple of towel holders. And we have a coat closet back here. Let me turn the light on. There we go. And look at this on this side of the... Uh... Oh, storage. Yep. And they got a little more storage back here. That's what I was telling 
that when I opened up that two doors above the washer dryer, usually they have a huge, uh, what do you call it? storage, but it's on this side. Well, cool. All right, now we have, uh-oh, locked. Over here, we have a nice bathtub and it's a tub shower. Check it out. It's pretty I like this, yeah. It's pretty tall. And uh, I think they just took shower because this thing, you could probably install one of those things that you hang on to it, but I remember taking a shower. <laughs> yeah, it's nice tub shower. All right, this is the engine access door if you'd like to get in there. It's an ISL 400. Actually, it's a side mount radiator, as I told you earlier. Rear access. I think this would conclude our video. Let me lock this back up. And then what we'll do, we'll, we'll go through the cockpit area, show you everything, and get on the road, and let's test drive it. Here's all the owner's manuals, Cummins, and we have a little bit of a, a service record. People had it done uh, locally there in North Carolina. Very taken care of, all the books and records. Hey, here's a very interesting fact right here. It was originally sold for $281,424 bucks. Had $21,000 worth of uh, options, but that's it right here. All right, the seats are in really good shape. Uh, come on up front. They both swivel around. They both are powered seat. Check it out. And you got electric shade. Let's talk about a cockpit area here real quick, and we'll crank the motor home up. That's the generator running, right? Generator's running. It's got a loud-in monitoring system. You wait to start and fire it up. Fires right up. 76,894 miles. 76,894. That is your Aladdin. You could select video source. You could do a... a backup monitor that's the backup monitor i mean you could do all kinds of stuff so backup engine transmission status what's going on coach electrical system ac1 ac so it's got a a lot in system and it works really good it's got a old time nice stereo cd player i think we did check it out it works great uh air conditioner works good you got two cup holders here and it stays out got a little drawer here and uh, let's see, it's a smart steering wheel. So, you know, you can do your cruise control from here. Your ICC light controls are right here. Your windshield, wa I mean, windshield wipers are right here. We'll turn them off. Um, it's got telescopic and tilt wheels. By the way, the pedals are adjustable from right here. We have a pedal adjuster in and out, and they go in and out. You see that? It's going in for tall person or out for shorter person. So that works. We've got exhaust brakes, engine brakes right here. We've got an automatic, um, see right here, you just turn it on once and hit it one more time and you see the red light is blinking. The, and you probably can't hear in the video, but it's doing auto leveling. See, it's pretty level. So this side, it lifted it up. And now front is probably building the air back. So it's an air leveling, it works fabulous. We've got electric awnings, I mean, electric mirrors they work great it's got a mirror heat automatic traction control uh, we got step cover in and out i'll show you that uh block heat hwh reset and that's your six-speed allison automatic transmission and then we have a uh, let's see our uh dock lights on the side side dock lights well i can feel it it's coming up did you feel it mm -hmm. it's coming up uh fog lights Let's see, where are my, uh, where are my, uh, oh, right here. So that's my driver's side and a passenger side. Passenger has her own or his own if my wife's driving, I got a button there too. And let me show you that, uh, the uh, step cover. Hmm. Step. Oh, there you go. I was doing the wrong way. So step cover comes out. So those folks have a dog or cat or human sitting here. Now watch, it'll go out and it'll come up. See how nice. Isn't it nice? I'm gonna go, go back in. So both seats are powered. This one has a, a electric recliner. 
that's right there all right you know what i'm not gonna test drive this coach we drove it personally from florida to greenville south carolina runs excellent it's air ride it's a monocle quality you got a one panoramic windshield it's it's a gorgeous coach so i'm not even gonna test drive you know you can test drive take it home with you this coach is in really really good shape one owner to recap 70 6,000 miles, about uh, 7,500 watts generator that slides out, side mount radiator, uh, great access to the engine, the big ISL 400, one of the sweet motor they, they Cummins made. It's way before pre-DAP, and way before, before pre-DAP they had some problem with the 400 Cummins. I love this motor home. My phone number is 864-404-0054, or you can call our son or text 864-376. 5600. We take trades. We help you get financing. We do sell warranty. We don't push it. You can buy your warranty online. Um, please subscribe to our channel. Gives me gives us a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else I have to say. Thank you. Have a great day.